Hi, good afternoon. This is Lunch with Laura. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Seems like we've all been on this train, right? And all of a sudden, thank God, the train is now at the station. You know, we can get off, take a deep breath, stretch our legs, and regularly figure out, you know, what the landscape's going to look like because we're in a new place, right? <laughs> That's the, the the best way that I could think about it. Sorry, that's the best way that I could think about, you know, the the end of the election cycle. I was going to talk about something very technical today, um, like I did yesterday. Yesterday I spoke about child support. But I said, no, you know what? I just really feel like God's put it on my heart to really speak about not speaking a curse over your future. I was talking to someone this morning, and they were not very happy uh, when they woke up this morning, <laughs> and. Um, I just simply said, you know, no matter what side that you come down on, you don't want to speak a blessing over Mr. Trump and his family, over President-elect Trump and his family. For this reason, like it or not, you know, he is now linked to our prosperity. He's linked to our future. Uh, he's linked to the direction of this country. And... Um, the decisions that he makes are going to affect us, maybe in a pro very profound way, uh, for years to come. And so the way that I look at it is I feel like God is saying, take it from a higher view, a wider perspective, and say, you know, speaking a curse over Trump and saying how awful he is is the same as speaking a curse over your future, over your finances, over your prosperity, over the prosperity of this country, over, you know, where are we going as, as a people? You know, all of those negative things, you don't want to come into agreement with those things. Because I don't know about you, but I'm finding it hard enough, <laughs> you know, to get things going and to see and to hit the financial milestones that I want to reach to hit my goals every month that I want to be at without having to help out the enemy to come into agreement with things that are against me, you know? And so I really want you to look at it that way. You know, the, the country has spoken and, um, you know, we have President-elect Trump and, you know, so many people have said about, you know, learning how to play the Trump card. And I think for me, Learning at least right now, learning how to play the trump card is to pray for him. Prayers for him means prayers for my business, means prayers for the economy, which means prayers for the prosperity of this country, all of those things. So I just want you to consider the power of words, how powerful words are, um, and how they can manifest in your life. And, you know, we don't want to speak a curse over ourselves, over our household, over you know, our pocketbooks. Um, I see no good reason to ever do that, ever. <laughs> so I just want you to consider that, you know, all the time that you, that you might be spending thinking about all the different things, the negative things that you can say about him, um, like it or not. Um, and I'd be saying the same thing if the shoe were the on, on the other foot. And, um, I, and if it was, if we were able to say, President-elect Hillary Clinton, you know, all the people who would be upset behind that, speaking word curses against her, um, I would be saying the exact same thing. Don't speak against your own prosperity, your own um, happiness, um, and people around us, hey, Willow, and people around us. You know, just con consider that. Peace be still. That's what the word says. Peace be still. We may not understand everything that's going on. You know, I released a little bit of something on, on Facebook this morning. You know, we may not understand everything that's going on. But when we start cursing ourselves because we are offended because we don't understand, then I think we're on dangerous ground. That's what it talks about in the book of Matthew. I believe it's chapter 5 or chapter 6 uh, when it talks about, you know, Jesus. This is red letter writing, okay? When Jesus says, don't be offended. You may not understand. Don't be offended. But I will tell you one thing. A lot of people, you know, may not be aware or they may not believe that there are still prophets that work the earth. Prophets, the, the same type of prophets 
that is spoken about in biblical times. You know, because there's plenty of phony ones out there, so you got to be careful, right? Um, but I believe that there are prophetic voices that are still walking in the earth today. And every single one of them said exactly what happened yesterday. <laughs> every single one. They said nobody's going to call it, the media's not going to call it, but they simply said that he was going to win and win by a landslide. And that's exactly what happened. When everything else says that they're crazy, that doesn't make any sense, that they're stupid, it's never going to happen. I'm just simply saying all the Christian prophetic voices that have kind of come in and out of the, the, the people that I kind of run around with and associate with and read about and go to conferences to, they all said the same thing, especially over the past six months. Um, so I can't say that this was a surprise. I won't say who I voted for, but I certainly will say I'm not surprised. They called it. They absolutely nailed it. They called it. And so, you know, I'm just going to keep my words in agreement with heaven, speak a blessing over my finances, my household, and I believe that speaking a blessing over Mr. Trump and his family does just that. I, I bring a blessing upon my head, my household, my finances. So just consider that, okay? It's okay to be upset. Get it out. I'm not saying that. But when you're at the point where you start cursing different states, you know, F people who live in this location and F them and, you know, those types of things, I would just ask you to maybe think about spending your time speaking a blessing rather than a curse. That's all I have to say today. I love you. I don't care who you voted for. I love you. It's just that simple. People make it so hard. It's just that simple. I still love you. I don't want you to unfriend me. I'm not going to unfriend you, okay? <laughs> it's okay that you're upset. It's okay. You know, it's okay that you're happy. Just try not to gloat too much, please, because it's really stirring up the people who are upset, okay? <laughs> you know, let's just let the dust settle and things calm down and really speak a, a, a blessing all, also over the people who need to come around Trump because he's got a lot of work to do in the next six weeks. And speak a blessing over all the people who are around him, who are advising him, who are going to become members of his cabinet. Speak a blessing. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need them to be covered in blessings. We need to storm heaven with our prayers and speak a blessing over them. I love you. Take care. Oh, and one more thing, too. I'm sorry, I forgot. I think I'm going to uh, lower it, um, the, the videos that I, Lunch with Laura's that I do. I think I'm just going to make it three days a week instead of four. I will be here tomorrow, but I think this is the last week. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to narrow it down to three days a week anyway. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.